Greetings to you all in the name of our Lord and our Saviour Jesus Christ. We praise God for his love and for his mercy in that he has given to us a new day, Thursday the 28th of May. Welcome to this time of devotional worship. The psalmist in Psalm 84 verse 11 and 12 Psalm 84, verse 11 and 12. The psalmist says, The Lord is our protector and glorious King, blessing us with kindness and honour. He does not refuse any good thing to those who do what is right. Lord Almighty, how happy are those who trust in you. Psalm, Psalm 84, verse 11 and verse 12. The Lord is our protector and glorious King, blessing us with kindness and honour. He does not refuse any good thing to those who do what is right. Lord Almighty, how happy are those who trust in you. We join the psalmist today in praising God for his blessings upon us. May you experience the joy of the Lord today in all that you do. Do it with a joyful heart and a happy spirit. May you know the blessing of the Lord this day. Please use this devotion to help you throughout this day. Remember, obey the level two rules and God protect all workers and all school children today. May you learn well. The overall theme for today's devotion is God provides a way for you. God provides a way for you. The first Bible passage comes from Matthew's Gospel, chapter 6, verse 26. Matthew's Gospel, chapter 6, verse 26. Jesus says, Look at the birds. They do not sow seeds, gather a harvest, or put it in barns. Yet, your Father in heaven takes care of them. Aren't you worth much more than birds? Matthew chapter 6 verse 26. Jesus says, Look at the birds. They do not sow seeds, gather a harvest, or put it in barns. Yet, your Father in heaven takes care of them. Aren't you worth much more than birds? God provides a way for you. Sometimes we worry too much. Sometimes we worry about things that are not so important. Things like our reputation. Things like our image. We worry about what people are saying about us. We worry about gossip. Some people always worry. And even if they have nothing to worry about, they worry about that. Jesus teaches us, if God can take care of little birds, he can surely take care of his children. God provides a way for you. The Bible teaches us to cast all our cares and all our worries upon God, for he will take care of you. God provides a way for you, but often we don't use God's way. Here's a few examples of God's way. Live healthy and eat healthy. Budget wisely. Be kind, show forgiveness, be respectful of others. Try living your life according to Jesus' teachings. Now, these are just a few examples of how God provides a way for you. But the question is, will you use God's way? The second Bible passage comes from Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 5 and 6. Hebrews chapter 13 verses 5 and 6 are these words. 
Keep your lives free from the love of money and be satisfied with what you have. For God has said, I will never leave you. I will never abandon you. Let us be bold then and say, the Lord is my helper. I will not be afraid. What can anyone do to me? Hebrews chapter 13 verses 5 and 6. Keep your lives free from the love of money and be satisfied with what you have. For God has said, I will never leave you. I will never abandon you. Let us be bold then and say, the Lord is my helper. I will not be afraid. What can anyone do to me? God provides a way for you. And sometimes God's way for you is not the way you want. Nevertheless, God knows what is best for you and your future. In this verse from the book of Hebrews, one of the important lessons of life that it teaches us is to be content with what you have. Be satisfied with what you have. Jesus loves you just as you are. Whether you are disabled, balding, old and grey, young and energetic, God loves you for who you are. You are a person created in God's image and you are loved by God. You don't have to try and be like someone you are not. Be yourself. Know your limits about what you can and cannot do. But if you can try harder, then try harder. Always do your best, but be content. God does provide a way for you, but will you accept God's way? May you open your heart to God. The Bible says God will never leave you. He will never abandon you because God is our helper. Therefore, we will not be afraid. That is God's promise for us. That God will always find a way for you. Let us pray. We thank you, Lord God, for this new day. A day in which you renew our hearts and our minds to live our lives in ways that will bring glory and honour to your holy name. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for your holy word reminds us you never forsake us or abandon us, but your mighty presence is with us, guiding and directing our lives towards good things, because you, Lord God, will always provide a way for us. Bless us today. Bless and protect the elderly, the vulnerable, the sick and the lonely. Bless and protect all workers and all school children in their lessons today. And all those who need your help, may they know your comfort and your strength, Lord God. We pray this prayer in the name of our Lord and our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Now remember to obey the rules for level two. God continue to bless and protect all the workers and all the school children today. We shall see you again tomorrow.